Hey guys, I'm Jonas. Today I'm going to show you how to check and replace the drive belt on your Yamaha Drive 2. check your drive belt you're going to use a pair of vernier calipers and we're going to be measuring the width of the belt when these belts are brand new they're 31 millimeters wide and then when they're worn out or ready to be replaced they're going to be 27 millimeters or less is when they get below spec and you're going to need to replace it so basically all you need to do is take your calipers and measure how wide the belt is. So this one is at 30.12, which as I said, new is 31, spec in the, the minimum side is 27. So this belt is, is easily still within spec and should still give us good top speed, good performance, as long as we don't have any spots that the belt is, is damaged or burned. To replace the belt on these carts, what you're going to want to do is try to roll the belt off of the back clutch first and then you can remove it from the front clutch. Make sure that your cart is in neutral so the cart can freewheel back and forth without turning the clutch. Then I like to pull up on the belt as much as I can and that kind of helps set it a little farther down in that back pulley and then start rolling the belt off of the side of the pulley. And then you can just slide the belt off the side of the front clutch. When you're inspecting your belt for damage, you want to be looking along the edges of it. Make sure that it's not frayed or cracked or starting to separate along the seam. And also look at the inside and make sure that it's not cracking out or missing any of the cogs from the inside of the belt. And that you don't see any narrow spots where the belt was burned. To reinstall your belt, get it started back on the front clutch. And then you're going to work it back on the rear clutch just like how we took it off. For maintenance on your clutches, both the drive and the driven clutch have grease zerks on them. So you'll want to, at least once a year, take your grease gun and do one pump of grease into both fittings on the on the drive and the driven clutch all it takes is one pump of grease you do not want to over grease these so making sure that your drive belt is still within spec is pretty important to how your cart's going to perform and being able to get the full top speed out of your cart that you would expect if you guys got some good value out of this video please hit that thumbs up be sure to subscribe so you catch the other videos uh, we're going to be doing all the maintenance on these carts, so we've got you know your your brake cables to adjust, grease and clutches, changing oil in your rear diff, uh, basically everything that you would need to do to one of these if you really wanted to go through it top to bottom. So be sure to check back, catch all those other videos. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.